Hi everyone, welcome to Focal Academy. See in this problem, here one signal is given that is x of t equal to sin c of 8nt plus sin c of 3nt. For this sin c signal, how can you find the Nyquist state and Nyquist center then? How can you find it? So first of all convert this sin c function in terms of sin terms. So we have one relation that is sin c of at equal to sin pi at by pi t this is the relation between sin c and sin function now convert these two terms in terms of sin then we get x of t equal to sin of pi into 800 t upon pi t plus sin of pi into 300 t upon pi t. Now bring 1 by pi t common in these two terms. So then we get 1 by phi t into sin of pi into 800 t plus sin of pi into 300 Now how can you find the frequency for this signal? Because Nyquist state and Nyquist interval depends upon the frequency. So first of all find the frequency for this signal. So here two sine functions are there. So first of all find for this sine function. So here it is omega t form. So from this we get omega t but 2 pi f. Number 2 pi f t equal to this value. So that is considered as f1. So from this we get f1 equal to 400 edges now similarly here this is also omega t form omega means 2 pi ft so by comparing these two terms we will get f2 equal to 150 edges i am concerned that the frequency of this term is f1 and for this f2 the overall frequency is the which signal having the max frequency that is called as frequency of the given signal so here 400 edges is there so this is the maximum frequency for the signal so now i could consider that this is the signal frequency so that is message frequency so f m equal to 400 edges here message means this is the information and this is signal signal consists of information so that's why it is called a message signal so for this message signal the frequency is 400 edges. Now how can you find the Nyquist rate and Nyquist interval? So Nyquist rate is always greater than or equal to message frequency of two times. What two times of message frequency? So that's equal to greater than or equal to 800 edges. This is the Nyquist rate. Now how can you find the Nyquist interval? Inverse of Nyquist rate is called as Nyquist interval. Nothing but 1 by 2 fm so here 2 fm we got 800 years so it becomes 1 by 800 here for Nyquist rate the units are edges so for Nyquist interval inverse of edges means seconds nothing but 1 by 800 seconds this is the Nyquist rate and this is the Nyquist interval and this is the process of simplification and thanks for watching please subscribe like share thanks